Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be doing another poetry reading, this time from my third poetry book titled Neon Sun. If you are not familiar with Neon Sun, Neon Sun is about the way that I view and express love. The concept behind Neon Sun is that officially there are 24 poems in the book, reflecting the 24 hours in a day, reflecting how frequently we should express love towards one another. Okay, so let's begin reading. Today I'll be reading the entry titled Before You. It's actually not within the official part of the book, it's just before the introduction and before the book begins. So if you are following along at home, it is the page just before the contents page. If I let you into my home, you wouldn't. Steal the furnishings, leave muddy footprints, scream ear splitting. If I let you into my home, welcome with a kiss. My home is my heart, tread gently with bliss. When I let you into my home, don't cut off my wings. When you unpack your belongings, please don't break anything. I'll start analyzing the poem by explaining why I had placed it where I did in the book. So the reason why it is before the contents page, before the book actually officially begins, is because this is the way that I view the whole aspect of love. And I wanted to write an entry about the almost hesitation that sometimes we have before entering a new relationship. It could be because we were hurt in the past. But regardless, I wanted to express that sometimes there is that inner hesitation that some of us may have prior to entering a relationship and the expectations or the longings that we have. If I let you into my home, the first line, it's deliberately reflecting that hesitation that I mentioned. So it's an if, it's not when, it's an if I let you into my home, continues, you wouldn't. So in a way I'm saying, without saying it, that this is what I don't want you to do if I let you into my home. And the metaphor for that is basically like my life, my heart, my home is my heart because that's where I live. <laughs> Steal the furnishings, stealing someone's idea of love, leave muddy footprints, scream ear splitting, just making a very uncomfortable environment. Hello again. <laughs> I'm currently editing the video and again, I failed to articulate something that was really important to me when writing it. So these three particular lines are also stating the visual, obviously. So when you enter someone's physical space, their home, you wouldn't do these things. If you had mud on your shoes, you would take the shoes off before entering. If you were to scream ear splitting, you would not be welcome there again, so you would not do it. I'm essentially trying to say things that you would not do to be respectful of someone or to show that you love them and care about them, you would not do these in their physical house. These are expectations that I have when I let you into my home, which in this entry is essentially meaning my heart. Okay, bye. <laughs> the next line, if I let you into my home. So this repeats the very first line and that is done deliberately because to me, I wanted the paragraph before and the paragraph after to completely show the black and white difference between you wouldn't do this, but I would want you to do this. Welcome with a kiss. My home is my heart. Tread gently with bliss. Continuing into the next line, it says, when I let you into my home. First, we have the if I let you into my home, if I let you into my home, when I let you into my home. So there's finally the wall coming down after the acceptance and willing to trust somebody to accept their love. This, <sighs> this goes so much deeper, but this would probably be a 20 minute video. <laughs> Don't cut off my wings. When you unpack your belongings, please don't break anything. When you accept somebody's love in a way, you do relinquish some of the control because you are trusting them to care for you and love for you in a certain way. So the line, don't cut off my wings is reflecting that. When it continues, when you unpack your belongings, please don't break anything. So now that I have let you into my home, 
when you unpack your belongings into my home, when our hearts become like this and we are together, please don't break anything. Don't break anything in my home, which is my heart. I just think that is the most beautiful way to begin this book. Because I think sometimes some of us do hesitate to enter relationships simply because of our past or the experiences that we have had. But to me, this whole entry is expressing that it is only when you surrender to the possibility of someone coming into your heart, your home, that is when you are fully capable of love. Because with love, you must not only express it, but you must also be able to accept it. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye. That was the that was the book, not me. <laughs> what that way is because there are 24 hours a day. Huh? <laughs> what am I saying? Line to me really is reflected, re reflected, reflected, reflecting. <laughs> Jeez.